Boss? Okay. Boss, we're rolling, boss. Oh! Oh! You could have told me that when you started rolling. What was that gunshot? Uh, I think it was something. I don't know. Okay, let's just get back to the newscast. Welcome to the TNH News. I am the head reporter of Bars for Cantum. Today we are going to meet the hair from last week's crazy race. And he's here right now. Uh, you're in front of the camera. Oh, did see you there, Vars. Actually, my name is Buster Brown. Buster Brown's my name, speeds my game. Except for that. Except for what? Okay. Whoa, Buster, we called you we called you over here today because we wanted to interview you after last week's crazy race. Don't even mention that race to me. I should have won, but that stupid tortoise shit. How know. did he cheat? You see that cameraman? Cameraman. Cameraman, you catch this cameraman? You see this? See us in the distance, cameraman? Catch this cameraman. Yeah, catch this? <sighs> Sorry, a cameraman Joe is um absent. He left right after the beginning. After that dramatic scene, we're back. So, how did the tortoise cheat? You were the one who slept in the middle of the race. Actually, that's not true, Varish, either. What do you mean? Because, actually, what happened was, I was running to the finish line, uh -huh. I was almost there, I was so close, I could like, lick it, and I'd be there. No, the I tripped over this branch. I tripped over this branch, and it, hit, it made me hit my head on this tree trunk, and I passed right out. Wow, when I was watching the race, it looked like you were sleeping peacefully under the tree. Yeah, because the cameraman was looking shooting in a different direction when I was doing it. He was just shooting like the tortoise walking at like 75, like walking 75 miles for five straight days. Yeah, yeah. we have really good cameramans in the show. Yeah, <coughs> really good cameramans. Look at you, Joe. And so, so when they turned back to me, it looked like I was sleeping peacefully under the tree. Hmm, now we know that part of the story, but you said the tortoise cheated. How did he cheat? I cheated because when the race was finished, I finally got to the finish line, and I could sh and I overheard him talking to the judge. Hmm, what did he say? He said, well, now it's time for our commercial break. Welcome back to the TNH News. We are here with Buster, and he's about to tell us about how the tortoise cheated. Well, well, as I was saying before the commercial break, sorry, I overheard him talking to the, I overheard him talking to the judge, and I could hear him say, "Oh, good job, Buster, stick there, shut it." And I heard him say, "Oh, good job, finish that stick there, shut it." And I was like, "Oh my God, she cheated!" But then I saw the hand of Fox, who was also the judge. Five juicy, delicious, marinated steaks. I mean, I could just smell them coming from it. It was just delicious. Hmm. Wow! Right in front of the world, Buster just revealed that the the Buster just re revealed the scandal happening at last, last week's race. Now we have an expert here, Dr. Platypus, to discuss this matter. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Barsh actually caught the Ebola disease, and now he will probably never be heard from again. Uh, I'll be filling in from, from, for him now on. But in brand news, we have Dr. Platypus here. Dr. Platypus? When I saw that hair and tortoise talking, my mind was totally spoon away. They must have been genetically engineered or trained to specifically do this. The world is ending! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ah! Dr. Platypus. So, that was nice. Uh, so, that was it for today's broadcast. Join us next time when we blow up Pluto. Goodbye, world.